Hello everyone! In this video I'll be talking about Onki add-ons. Add-ons give Onki some cool functions, like the ability to make cards from diagrams. If you are a total beginner and you are like, I don't know anything about add-ons, then this video is for you. I'll be talking about installation, how to report bugs, where to download add-ons from, briefly contrast pay versus free add-ons, things like that. The timestamp is below the video. And by the way, in this video I will not be giving the list of the add-ons that I use, I will do that in the next video. So let's start! So let's say I want to download an add-on that resizes images. At the moment Onki does not have this feature, so often you end up with huge images. So let's go to Onki website where add-ons are, I will post the link in the description. Let's search resize and it gives us, for instance, the image resize add-on and the resize the images in editor add-on. The purpose of the section is to show you the installation and troubleshooting, so I'm not going to dwell on why I prefer one over the other. I will simply choose the one I use. So here is the description and very importantly, for which version the add-on works. Below, there is a comment section, but this section is not for reporting bugs. However, it is useful to read it, because sometimes people would warn one another in this section about add-ons conflicts, or even tell how to avoid the conflict, because sometimes it might be enough to make some changes in the add-on configuration. People also write in this section their experiences with other but similar add-ons that for instance worked better for them for one reason or another, so skimming through the section may be very informative. So where would you report bugs, if you find any? On GitHub. Every add-on page has a link to GitHub. In the case of resize images in the editor add-on, when you press contact author, it takes you to GitHub. But usually authors will just post the actual link. When you are on GitHub, first read the issues other reported, and if your bug is not described there, report a new issue. You need to set up a free GitHub account, but it's easy. So let's come back to the page with the add-on. To download an add-on, you need to copy the code, then go to Onki, go to Tools, Add-ons, Get Add-ons, paste the code, and restart Onki. And now we can resize images in the editor window. Next I would like to show you add-ons configuration settings. So again let's go to tools, add-ons. The add-ons in black are active and the add-ons in grey are disabled. Being able to disable an add-on is useful, especially if you want to determine which of them causes some troubles. When you toggle enable an add-on, bear in mind that you need to restart Onki for the changes to take place. Anyway, so let's click on, for example, the resized images in editor add-on and let's go to config. The information on the margin describes all the different settings of this add-on. For instance, the default function of this add-on is to resize images by dragging, but if you want to resize an image by setting a maximum height or maximum width, it can also be done. All we need to do is to set maximum height when not resizing to true, that means when we drop an image to a field, the add-on will automatically resize it to a constant height of 200 pixels, you can change that value if you want to. So let's click OK, reopen Onki so that the changes take place and now the add-on resizes pictures automatically. I I personally prefer to resize by dragging, because sometimes I want images smaller, sometimes a bit bigger, depending on what they show. Don't be scared to tinker with settings, you can always restore defaults. Now I might just mention other options in the add-on window. View file takes you to the files of that add-on, but you wouldn't normally use it. View add-on page takes you to the add-on page. Next we have check for updates. Normally the information about updates shows automatically. You will see a message, hey for this add-on an update is available, would you like to update? If you press no, for whatever reasons, you can always check for updates here later. And then there is also install from a file. This mainly applies to add-ons at an early stage of release. In that case, you would get them from GitHub. So after you downloaded the file from GitHub, you would then navigate to this file using this button. However, it really depends how the add-on's author designs the installation to be like. For instance, at the moment the heatmap add-on is still on GitHub, but after you downloaded the file, you just need to double-click it and from there on the installation is automatic. The installation procedure is always very clearly written on GitHub and it's fairly easy. So at this point you might be confused, so where do we take add-ons from? As I already mentioned, Onki 3 add-ons are on Onki Web. Add-ons that are still at an early stage of development will be on GitHub. Some add-ons are on Patreon because they are behind a paywall. For instance, Glutamine wrote some paid add-ons. I would be very suspicious if someone told me to download an add-on that is not from these free sources. Of course, in principle, any add-on can be malicious, but taking into account that authors give their contact details, users set up discussions 
discussion threads with them on GitHub, and some of the authors are well known in the Onki community, the chances of coming across malicious add-ons are thankfully rather small. I don't know any instance of malicious add-ons. Next, I would like to briefly focus on paid add-ons. Your question might be, are they better? Not necessarily. Their maintenance is likely to be better. I imagine paid add-ons will always be up to date with the newest version of Onki, but they are a tiny bit more likely to be incompatible with other free add-ons, which modify the same region of Onki. Why is that? It's because the authors who provide free add-ons don't have an easy access to the source code of the paid add-ons. Many people don't like the idea of paid add-ons. However, I really get why Glutamine set up a Patreon account. He is one of the Onki's heroes, quite literally, and at the moment he has only few paid add-ons and majority of his awesome add-ons are for free. I have never come across an add-on that did not have a free substitute. I'm not sure how it's going to look like in the future, I hope paid add-ons will stay in minority. For free add-ons, you will still have very decent maintenance. Even if some coder decides to drop his project, there is often someone else who takes the add-on, improves it, and carries on with maintenance. So what if an add-on does not work properly? First, if an add-on causes Onki to crash, you can always open Onki with add-ons temporarily disabled by holding down the shift key while starting Onki. Notice we can't resize pictures anymore. However, when we go to the add-on window, the add-on is still in black. It is because holding shift disables add-on only temporarily. If I was to exit Onki now and reopen it without holding shift, the add-ons in black will be active again. Crashes are very Rare. Normally, it only happens when Onki takes a huge version leap, like going from 2.0 to 2.1, and in these cases, the add-ons have to be rewritten, and that causes some bigger bugs. The next step of troubleshooting is to find out which add-on causes the mishap. In majority of cases, it will be easy if an add-on provides some feature, and that feature doesn't work correctly, so this add-on has a bug. However, don't just assume that. Shift Open Onki, disable all add-ons but the suspected one, and see whether the problem persists. Why? Because sometimes it is not the add-on itself that causes the malfunction, but the clashes between add-ons. Add-ons of similar functionality and or add-ons that modify the same region of Onki are more likely to clash. For instance, there are few add-ons that modify the sidebar region and they are not all compatible. The opposite is also true. If two add-ons enhance two very different things in Onki, say one makes it possible to rename tags in a sidebar region and the other resizes pictures, they are very unlikely to interfere with one another. The last step of troubleshooting is to go to GitHub, and if no one reported your bug, then report a new issue. Describe the problems in detail, the version of Onki, what you have tried already, so for instance write that you have disabled all add-ons except this one and the problem persists. If the add-on on its own works good and the problems appear as a result of add-ons conflict, then you may just politely ask if the author would consider to make the two add-ons compatible. Also tell the author what you were exactly doing when the mishap happened, describe the malfunction and send any error messages. Lastly, bear in mind that add-ons do change fairly quickly and the best way to get updated is to read about any changes on OnkiWeb or GitHub. And if you feel you are not a fan of reading about add-ons, tinkering with them, troubleshooting every now and then, simply keep the number of add-ons relatively low, say 10 to 20-ish. Choose add-ons that provide significant enhancement of Onki functionality rather than incremental enhancement. Please notice that subjective, some people find having a background image in Onki a must-have, I don't, but we all have different priorities. Define a purpose, what you want the add-ons for, and do experiment, but only keep the add-ons that you truly use. So that's all I have for you today, I hope it helps, bye!